If you find that you play the same categories again and again, you can do an exercise that I call Charleston Force. This will give you an opportunity to play all the categories on the card instead of just your favorites. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Let's play Charleston Force. We got to get the categories first. So here I have all my categories. We're going to pick three and force those. Addition. Odds. Evens. Okay. This will be good for me because I tend to forget about the addition category. And some people get confused when I say addition category. It's actually called the addition hands this year, but it's the last category on the first panel. Okay, we're going to say we're the dealer, so I'm going to get 14 random tiles. And now I'm going to create a mock Charleston. This is not meant to be exactly like it is when you play in a live game. It's just for practice. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's count. I'm thinking the wins can go away because with evens and odds and addition, there are no news opportunities. So those can go away. So let's count odds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Evens. One, two, three, four, five. I think we could go for odds here. Let's play odds. I'm just going to keep all of them. Odds, even, or addition. Now, with these odds, we could play 9, 3, 12, 9, 3, 12, or 12. Let's keep the one, the twos just in case an addition hand comes in. So let's pass south, 6, 4. Okay, we got a 9 and a 3 odds and we have tiles we can pass but this would be a really risky pass east and west with eight east and west go with evens this year so if we're going to play odds there is a pair hand that uses odds one three five in one suit five seven nine in a second suit five seven nine one three five with flowers right there we could hold these okay so let's just hold that we could potentially play a pair hand let's pass these three that way we're not passing two wins at one time so we're focused on odds we got a one and we have tiles we can pass let's pass these three i'm thinking that pair hand is looking pretty good okay if you get a joker just exchange it Okay, and we have tiles we can pass. Let's mix it up with a two in a different suit. Those right there. Oh wait, let's keep the one. That's odd. Now I don't want to pass like numbers. Let's get rid of the nine. That way we can break that up a little bit. We could still play one, three, five, seven, nine in one suit in the, in the odds category. Or we could play one, three, five, five, seven, nine pair hand with the flower. So let's go ahead and pass these three. Oops. Okay, we've got a three. And here's a five and a two, four. Now, I just realized something. If you go for a pair hand, that's the single and pair category. We need to focus in the odds category. So let's look and see what we can do with one, three, five, seven, nine. We have one, three, one, three, three, five. It'd be nice to use those nines there. I think either way we can throw these. 
If we can get a seven bam, that would be perfect. Okay, we got a five dot and a flower. We have an east. We have one tiled pass, so we have to pick a hand. This is when you focus. Zero in. Okay, so we want to use these flowers here. We have two flowers. There are three hands with flowers. The third one down, one three five and one suit. Okay, there's that. But that would require throwing two pairs away. I don't want to do that. I think we should leverage this one three. One three, I think we gave up a red dragon earlier. That's okay, you can recover. Okay, so if we have one three, three five, these would be joker bait. This would be joker bait. Let's give up on these right here. That way we're using the most of our multiples. Let's pass these three. Okay, we have a white dragon. Let's see if we can use that white dragon somehow. So there's only, there are two dragon hands in the odds. One, three, five with the dragon where the dragon matches the number in the middle. So I don't think that's going to work out very well. We've got too many gaps. Or the bottom one, one, three, five with matching dragons or five, seven, nine with matching dragons. Either way, we're going to have joker bait. Because we could play, let's see here, five, seven, nine with dragons that match or one, three, five with a gap, the third hand down. Either way, we didn't use these three, the three dot. Let's pass that so we have a full pass. Okay, so we have discards and we're in between hands. Either way, we're in the odds category. So we've got options and discards. You don't have to pick a hand till you run out of discards. So we would just have to wait and see what happens here. It's a bit of a mess. And isn't that the way it goes sometimes? So here we have odds. This is going to take work. But it's a great exercise, don't you think? Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay, addition or two, four, six, eight. Don't need wins. That's too bad. Don't need those. Okay, we got one flower. Two, four, six, eight. We have one, two, three. Addition. We do have a two. We don't have any ones. If we use seven, five, one, two, that's what we would start with. If we did eight, four, one, two, we could do eight, four, eight, four, two. So really we can get rid of all of these and we could still maybe even play two, four, six, eight. So let's break all this up. Okay. I really don't like passing a wind and a dragon together, but we're kind of stuck and we're forcing a hand here. Okay, we've got a six. So that fits in with two, four, six, eight category. And we have tiles we can pass. Let's pass these three. Okay, we got a five and a three. We've got joker bait here. Look at that. Okay, let's break that up. Pass these three. Okay, if you get a joker, exchange it. Seven. Maybe we could play seven, five. Who knows? Let's keep the white. I don't like passing that. I think I'd rather pass two wins than a white. 
I kind of treat white dragons like flowers. Okay, now we have a six and a five. Okay, we finally have a multiple. So we can build around the five. The five is not an even, so let's focus on addition. Fives go with sevens. So we have seven, seven, we have one, two. I would hold this for an option. So I'm thinking seven, five, 12, right there and hold this as an option for a mixed suit. I would hold the, the dragons so we can pass these three. So just by process of elimination, you can find a pass. Flower, nice, we needed that. And we have a mixed suit option here again. So let's pass these three. We have a three, we need 12, not three. Okay, we can pass those three. Eight goes with four, we have no force, and we wanna build around the five. Let's pass these for optional cross. I don't think there's anything good in here. We'll just go through the motions though. Eight, three, yeah, that's not gonna be helpful. Five discards with an option, with two options. Yeah, this was rough. But we do have a joker to help. So we have seven, five, two flowers. And then these I would hold for as long as possible in case a mixed suit option comes in for the last hand under addition. Just start discarding all of these. I would discard probably the wind first, then the dragon, and then the number tiles. You're more likely to get a joker out of these number tiles, I think. So there's addition, that's gonna be a long shot. But again, great practice. All right, we're gonna make the even category work this time. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're making evens work. Okay, there we go. That's what we're starting with. There is a possibility for a drag, two dragon hands in the evens category. So let's get rid of the south and then let's get rid of a nine and let's say the seven, because in, then we'll have tiles that we can pass that might help later. We're looking for evens. We got one. Don't have to pick a hand till you run out of discard. We do have some joker bait, so let's hold on to that. So we do have tiles we can pass here. No evens, but now we have a pung and like numbers. I'm gonna break up a one. Evens, keep them all. And we have tiles to pass. Now, wait, we got a red dragon. Let's look at the dragon opportunities because I'm not passing a pair. So the dragon opportunities in evens is two, four, six, eight, and then the opposite dragon. So two suits, two, four, six, eight, dragon. So in this case, we don't need the green. The other opportunity is a one suit. We only have two BAMs. I think we could go ahead and give up the BAM. This is a really risky pass though. Those matching tiles there like that. But two, four, six, eight. I think that we could maybe even play potentially a pair hand here. I think I would risk it. Okay, so we got a four and a six. And we have dragons and a one bam. I think we should pick a hand. So here we have two, four, six, no gaps. We do have a flower. There's one hand in two, four, six, eight, our evens that uses flowers, the first one. 
So that's a good possibility, but there's also a pair hand. We're trying to force the category though. We need to stay in the category. Let's keep the white. We could play the concealed hand maybe. Let's look at mixed suit options. We need one more tile. So if we do mixed suit option, two, four, six, eight, and then eights, we could keep the eights. So let's look a little further, two, four, six, eight, two suits, two, four, Okay, I don't think the two, four, six, eight second from the bottom is a good option. Uh, let's see, two, four, six, eight. I think we could probably give up the four crack. Okay, we have a six. I think we should keep that. We have like numbers, so let's go through it again. So here we have consecutive option, or not consecutive, but concealed, a concealed option with the dragon, two, four, six, eight. Now we don't need that flower though for that. Um, the hand with two, four, six, eight and eights, the second one down. There's a one suit option, two, four, six, eight, six, eight. Let's give up the four, I think. And then we, we really can't keep it all. I think I would give up the six because we could still play two, four, six, eight. There's still some options there. Let's, let's get rid of this. Wait a minute. No, we have no two BM. I was thinking we have the two, four or the four, six, eight, but we have no two BM. Okay. So there's a two crack. I don't think that's going to be helpful though. I think I would go ahead and pass those. I think what you could do, we could do though, that's a little risky. And this gives us just a little more options there. Let's pass these three. Oh, look at that. We ended up with Joker bait, a discard Joker bait. And we've got all kinds of two, four, six, eight, possibilities here. We could do two, four, six, eight, the, the uh, concealed with the matching dragon. We could do two, four, six, eight, the first one with flowers. We could do the two, four, six, eight, eight, second one down right there. So I think we probably have about five discards, maybe even six. So yeah, this was kind of rough, but there are a lot of options here. So I think, um, that wasn't too bad. There's a lot of flexibility in that decision making right there. Two, four, six, eight. I'd call those successful just because it's great practice. If you have a set at home, give it a try yourself and let me know how it goes for you. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing and click the bell when you do so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss any opportunities to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight of the game that'll give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston Force for American Style, may all your picks be keepers.